hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I am doing something different because um, uh, if you guys don't know I am a Christian I believe in Jesus I believe in the Father Son Holy Spirit so anyhow um, I can actually interpret dreams I every Christian is is blessed God bless them with their own um how do i put this with your own gift everyone have a, have a gift as a christian um if you don't know what your gift is just pray to god that he will reveal it to you or whatnot so anyways i can interpret dreams and not every dream just the ones that god want me to know and what's going on and everything my whole life has been about prayer um if i need to know anything if i need god to show me anything i will pray about it and it will come to me in a dream so um i have seen a lot of things in the past and a lot of things that came true and i know that dreams are from god um he did say in his word that he will pour out in the last days he will pour, pour out his spirit on all flesh um his sons and daughters shall prophesy all men shall see dreams and whatnot i guess i'm all i'm see i have dreams anyway so um i actually start i always had dreams from since I was little or whatnot but I didn't really understand it until I was like in my 20s and anyways I just had this dream a couple days ago and um, I'm like okay I told my family I know what it mean whatever I I know the meaning of it I told my family about it and I'm like praying and I'm like um, do I tell other people and whatnot but I'm like God if I supposed to tell this dream to anyone else, um, let me know because I don't want to just go say this to, you know, especially making a video and put it up on YouTube. So, and for the past two nights, I, the Lord been giving me dream that yes, you know, I need to. And I've been like holding back and I'm like, ah, like, because I, I am this person that I cannot speak in front of a crowd. I will just, just like shrivel up and just get like, you know, I cannot speak. I, if you call me up to read or if you call me up to speak, I would just like go like in that in that mode and I cannot really say anything. But anyhow, uh, anyhow um, I i woke up a few nights ago i woke up like around five o'clock and i couldn't go back to sleep and usually that's when it would happen if i would wake up in the night and i cannot go back to sleep i would pray and then i would have a dream so i couldn't go back to sleep i was up and tossing and turning in bed and hope hoping that i would go back to sleep and then i pray and i'm like lord whatever is going on show me reveal whatever is going on to the lord whatever is going on in the darkness bring it to light reveal it to me so i prayed and then i fell asleep anyways i i was dreaming so m the dream went like this so i was in a room i wake up and i was in this room i don't know how i get there but i was in this room and when i was in this room there was people lying down there waiting like we we all were waiting for something and i didn't know what we were waiting for so anyhow people were lying down everywhere and there was this empty spot next to there was a couple little boys lying down there and there was an empty spot there so i was like okay so i'm gonna lie down there so i lie down there and these little boys they're like my son's age and my son is 11 and they were lying there and these were like little perverted boys and how i know because they were trying to touch me and whatnot and like do stuff to me so i get up i get up and i went outside and when i went outside i look and there was this pathway to go out of this place and when i looked there were people sitting down in the office and there was like guards with guns and whatnot and you cannot get out no one cannot get out of there 
but when I look across there was another room so when I I went in that room to look to see what was going on so it was the same thing there was people lying down there people don't know what's going on they were just waiting there to I guess process of whatever is coming so I was like okay so let me go back to the room I was in so when I walk over everybody was gone so I look around and I'm like this is strange everyone was here and now everyone is gone and everyone had a you know when you go to the hospital and you have a a, a tag with your name on it and everything else and everybody had a number and I remember my number so clearly my number was 57 so I was like okay so now I'm looking around um uh, like I come out of that room and now I'm heading there was only you could where at uh, where you came in from that's the only you could walk out and you could look around that way but you cannot come out from here <laughs> so anyways I I start walking out and when I'm walking out and I'm looking I'm looking around I saw from the outside that they were putting up all these billboards and these signs but you cannot see it I don't know how we end up in there but you cannot see it when you're coming in but as but no one was trying to walk back out of there but me so as I was walking out I saw the billboards and I saw the chip they were chipping everyone and everyone was there to get the chip so when i saw that i realized what it was it was the mark of the beast so i'm like oh my goodness so now i'm running out i'm trying to get out of there to warn people to see who i know and to tell them not to take the mark anyways um when i when i look i saw my sister was coming in to that place where i was so i told her i grabbed her and i told her marlin don't take the mark don't take the mark today and I remember it's like when when there when the dream is from the Lord you will remember and I remember every little detail of this dream I would not remember I would put something here or there and I would not remember where I put it and I would have a dream and not remember I would try to remember like what did I dream and I would try to try to interpret it or whatnot but this time this dream I remember every little detail of this dream so that's how I know it's from the Lord so anyways I grabbed my sister and I told her my sister have three kids she have her kids are little one is uh, three two and she just had a baby and before she had these kids she had a miss she give birth but the baby did not make it so anyways so she has three now one is in heaven so I grabbed her and I told her in the dream this is all going on in the dream that I did not like maybe this I guess the Lord has a way how to show you and to tell you in to how to figure it out so I grabbed her and I said Marlin don't take the mark don't this the mark of the beast that today today Marlin you're gonna get to be with Jesus and today you're gonna get to see your four kids four kids you will get to see today that don't take the mark all they all you have to do is refuse it and they just gonna shoot you and you're gonna be dead that's it absent in the body present in the Lord and you're not gonna get to take the mark so I I keep walking and the reason why this I'm going to explain why this part is this way is because we believe in the rapture. The rapture is going to happen and all God's people is going to go up and actually not like the Bible said, the five wise virgin and the five foolish virgin. If you're a Christian, but you don't really truly believe and you're just like not living right, you will get left behind. Half of the church, half of the people who say they are Christian, they will get left behind. And the other half who are pure, he's coming back for a church without spots and wrinkles. So meaning you have to be pure. You have to, you have to get yourself ready for that. So anyways, um, I keep walking. Her kids are gone. So that means the rapture did happen already. So her kids are gone. And then, and the boys that I saw earlier, 
that was perverted. The Lord is showing me that little kids will get left behind because of the how they are. And uh, I guess because of the perverted world and everything that's going on in the world and there is so much to there, they could reach, they could just grab their device and there's so much that's open to them. So we got to guard our children, we got to watch, we got to keep them, keep an eye on them and look to see what they're watching, what's, what's coming into their life, you know, so... Anyways, that's what that part mean. So I keep walking and then when I look, I saw my my mom. And my mom is not a strong Christian. She she is a she was a Hindu and but she's not a strong Christian. So of course we have to pray for her. We gotta keep her in this. And mom, if you're watching this, be ready. You guys be ready. All my sisters, my brothers, uh, my brother, be ready. Anyway, so um I saw my mom there and I I was telling them like and there was guards all around and they're watching you know they're watching to see who is doing what so I'm telling my mom and I'm, I dream my aunt was there also and my two cousins and I'm telling them that don't take the mark that this is why they bringing us here that to take the mark of the beast and um, don't take it that and I keep telling them that um don't take it just refuse it and of course they're gonna kill you but when they kill you you're gonna get to be with jesus if you take the mark you're eternally damned you're not going to heaven it's in the bible read the book of revelation everything is in there and um so i was there so my mom somehow she sneaked but she sneaked there and she get a new bracelet for me because remember my bracelet was 57 so I was in the first batch of people there and remember people is going 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 in there so my, my mom went back and she get a bracelet for me and I remember the bracelet was 11 something I don't remember the two last but it was already in the 1100 that's how many people went in already so and my mom the way she brought it she she had some paper with her and she tried to sneak it in there and then she drop it and when she drop it the guard they look at the commotion or whatnot but they didn't say anything so i remember putting on the new bracelet and now um i'm looking around and i'm trying to tell people and whatnot and now and when i look on there was a a rail there like a, a concrete rail and there was this little girl she's like two or three years old and there's a reason why god showed me this um she is two or three i'm not sure i have these people on facebook and this little girl they're hindu and they always dress her up like in these hindu gods and whatnot they're dress her like they're so strong into their faith and their religion and the lord show me there she was sitting there on that ledge and she was there alone and i'm thinking in my mind that why this kid why this little kid here so it looks like in the dream it looks like little kids because we we i'm thinking and all christians are thinking that kids are innocent and they're gonna get to go up in the rapture but the lord is showing me that not all little kids would go like he showed me the boys they were they were little boys and now he's showing me this little girl that she she is like two or three years old but they're not christians they're into their own thing and that kid was there anyways um and i was i as i'm walking through this this place to come and to tell people i look like i'm thinking in my thoughts there i'm thinking like wow that you know we are preparing for spring and there's a reason why god I don't, he showed me that this is the time he showed me the time frame like the i remember the trees are are blossoming there's flowers everywhere like behind me like spring spring is here and the flowers and he was showing me like i am so excited of course i'm excited i love spring even though i have allergies and but i do medicate myself and i'm fine i take my allergy medicine 
so anyways he was showing me spring and how i was in my heart how was i was excited about spring and i couldn't wait for spring and i'm thinking like you know what all of this mean nothing it means nothing we plan and we we do all these things all these things are are nothing they don't mean anything anymore that what had happened because as christians we this is like we see what's going on in the world um everything that's in the bible is coming coming to pass everything is happening now and the only thing that's left as christians as we are watching is the rapture and i anyways i keep going out and when i look i saw my husband and he was there with like guns <clears throat> I guess he was like fighting also whatever so I didn't know there was fighting or anything so anyways I was walking to go and when I walk in this empty part the lights start going off everywhere and it, it's saying breach breach and I'm like oh my goodness this is it they get me now that I can't run I can't hide so this is it so now I'm waiting there I stand there and all the lights are going off and I'm there waiting and when I look around whoever took the mark whoever have the mark they there's this green glow in them they light up like they glow and like I dreamed that these there was women like like they're working they had um like a board with pen and they were and they dressed like really dressed like for work but i look at them and they all look like robots and they have that green glow because they took the mark they they are glowing so i i'm i'm still waiting and i'm watching and i and when i look there was a guy next to me a man and He's talking to me like really quietly and he said, um, you know, I believe what you believe and I'm not going to take the mark. And my friend, he went in there and they killed him. He didn't take the mark and they killed him. So, of course, I know already that that's what's going to happen. So, anyways, this guy came, came out. He, and when he come out, I look and I'm like, okay. So when he come out he was like um there was big screen popping up everywhere like television like tv screen popping up and when i look i saw myself and there was there is a war and i was a part of the war i was fighting the war and he's showing me on the screen um and i'm looking i'm like wow i was in the war like you know so i'm like okay now they're really gonna get me because you know i was in the war and i was fighting i saw myself with guns and whatnot so and i said in my mind i'm like jesus i was in that war but jesus saved me god saved me and he already know that i was saying that and he was like no god didn't save you i save you so of course i already know that he was antichrist so i didn't say nothing so i'm like just looking to see what was going on so and when I look at him, he was glowing and he had the green all over his forehead and everything else. And I already know who he was. So I said, okay, so I'm waiting to see what they're going to do to me. So anyways, all the screen went down, everything. And I'm, and as I'm looking, there was another way that people was coming through. And these people are the people who did not accept the mark. They didn't take it. And when I look, there was like television screen in like in it's like a tunnel. And when I look, I saw all these people walking through and there was so much. There was like porn was on those screen and, and people had to walk through that tunnel. And there was so much sinful things. And in my mind, I'm saying that what what is this about? But that's showing you that the people who they refuse to take the mark there will be temptation they tempt them they tempt them with wickedness of this world so that they could once they get to once they get to them and they sin they could receive that mark so anyways i saw that and then when i look i saw like there was a vip area where all the movie stars was coming and they were coming from all over the world 
and when I look I saw them all come in and I'm like these people are coming with their free will they just like come in to take the mark like there is no resistance they just come in they come in and then I, I, w I was like okay I have to go I ran and that's when I saw my husband and I saw him with with the guns and stuff and I'm like he was in the war also and I asked him where is Sarah I did not see my son in a dream I guess my son went up with the rapture my son is 11 so I'm like where is Sarah he said Sarah is home she wasn't feeling well Sarah is my daughter she is 18 gonna be 19 soon so I'm like where is Sarah he was uh, so I'm like okay I have to get to her I have to warn her because when I was there I did not know what was going on I was like clueless so I'm running out of there and I'm like I have to I have to talk to Sarah I have to tell her not to take the mark I have to I have to so now I'm running out of that place when I look there's guards everywhere and it's like there's a war there's like those those soldiers and things that were everywhere and when I look in people house the house they look like they were ramsack every like there was nowhere to run like we always thought that oh if we get left behind we're gonna go bug out and like hide so that we won't have to take the mark or whatnot but there was nowhere to hide everybody house was ramsack and there was these soldiers everywhere and there was chaos everywhere so i i was just running and looking for our house so i finally get to our house and when i get there i saw my daughter and she was on the bed and i dreamt that she was handcuffed to the bed and when i look at her her eyes they plucked her eyes off both of both of her eyes they pluck it off and when i look they torture her i saw her breast they cut they cut her nipples off and they they torture her so badly but she was like in this gaze and like don't know what's going on and like she was handcuffed to the bed and i look at her and i'm and i'm looking for the mark i'm like looking to see if she had the mark on her because i didn't see the glow in her and there was another girl sitting there was a bench there and another girl sitting there and when i look at that girl she had the mark she was glowing and then when i look on the bed someone was lying down next to her and was covered with a white sheet so i pulled the sheet to see who it was and it was her boyfriend and i said when i look at him they also poked his eyes off and they torture him and they did so much to him and so now i didn't see her glow so i'm looking and i dream that i pick her up and i'm looking at her when i look at her like her torso here they they cut her and they did so much things to her and when i look at her hand when i finally look at her hand i saw i saw her hand glow and i saw that she took the mark so now i'm like my whole being i was like shocked and my whole inside like i didn't know what to do and i'm like you know my child is lost she's going to a lost eternity and and like as i'm walking out of there i'm thinking i'm like oh my god that you know these people like once you took the mark is self-destruct you're gonna destroy yourself you're gonna destroy you know you're gonna do things to yourself so i gotta go warn people that this this is what's gonna happen but when um um so anyways when that happened as i'm thinking that my garage door open real in real life my garage door open my husband was coming home from work and i was like shocked and i just stayed in bed and i'm like just like you know don't know what to think but when i wake up and i really thought of the dream she was handcuffed she was she couldn't self-destruct she couldn't do nothing to herself and when i thought of it and i mean when i really think of the dream they're not just gonna they're just not gonna kill you they're gonna torture you and they show how bad she thought how bad they torture her and and that guy and 
because my because my daughter know about the mark my daughter i'm so proud of her she is like trying to preach a gospel in social media and everywhere else like you know she god is really doing a work in her life and she knows about it and i i think that people who are who are not gonna take the mark they're really gonna torture them so that's what the that's what the dream means the rapture are gone the lord is warning us the time is near the mark so and why is he showing me like it's now is it the vaccine is the vaccine the mark of the beast like there's so much going around i know for me and my household we will not be taking the vaccine um i'd rather be safe than sorry because there is so much you hear that it has the lucifer x and it has this and it has that like so much is going on that you know it makes you really think and what people who are getting the vaccine they still need to wear a mask they still get sick and there's so many people that die from it so why would i even think about getting that you know because of all of this that's why my daughter even though she's in college she is home she's taking class from home my son he is not in school he is homeschool so you know i'm not working i'm a stay-at-home mom so you know why would i even think about it you know and i take precaution i wear my mask whenever we go in anywhere we do all of that that we supposed to do so i i am not i mean you know so anyways guys i i just had to bring this out i just had to say it because the lord been nudging my heart like i i i would have to i had to come here and and say this and make this video and to warn to warn people i mean come on guys we are that this is the time we're living in you know it is the end times we know from the bible you know the the new testament been jesus warned us of all these things over two thousand years ago and everything that it's all around the the prophecies they're all been fulfilled and there is so much more i want to say and so much more in upcoming videos i will try to make more videos and with the things that's going on and if god give me more words and whatnot and if you guys want to hear or if there's someone that could interpret this dream better than i can you know let me know um i am open i am i i try to explain it as much as i can and i hope but most of the dream is self-explanatory so it's not like you need so much explaining but guys be ready um jesus is coming he's coming and he's not coming back as a babe or he's not coming back as um you know to he he came over two thousand years ago and he died he died for our sins and everything else we just gotta accept it you know and be ready because the the trump shall song and ready or not so and oh and <laughs> i'm thinking like lord like why was i there why was i still there i don't want to be one of those end times people that have to go and tell people because i was telling people i was going and you know i don't want to be one of those people i want to go with the rapture i don't want to stay here for seven years of tribulation but anyways i love you guys so much and stay safe and read your bible read your bible guys because a day is coming where they will take the all the bibles away from us we're not gonna know it unless we have it in our heart so we can remember it so anyways guys love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye for now